Hi there, this is Thiru, author of Bitby. Welcome back to the channel for Lead Code 150 series. Today we are going to solve the problem number 3 in our list that is remove duplicates from sorted array which is an easy problem from the array's data structure. We have already made the two videos on the first two problems that is two sum and the best time to buy and sell stock from our Lead Code 150 list. If you want to go through them, you can check the link here soon in the info section or in the video description. Please don't forget to hit the bell icon to get more animated or visualized videos on lead code problems. So let's dive into this problem without making any further delay. This is the problem number 26 on lead code and let's go through the problem to understand the problem statement. We have given an integer array of numbers which is already sorted in non-decreasing order. We have to remove the duplicates in place such that each unique element appears only once. Also after removing the duplicate elements, the relative order of the elements should be kept same. I mean we cannot change the order of the elements given. So as a solution of this problem at the end we have to return the number of unique elements in the given array. Suppose there are k number of unique elements in the array we have to return that resultant array having the first k numbers are unique elements and after k unique elements the resultant array can have anything uh, it can be default values or the numbers remaining as it is. So here we have to worry only about the first k unique elements that's it. We can also go through the examples given below. In the example 1, the input array given is having 3 elements that is 1, 1 and 2 and the output we have to give is having the array 1 and 2 that is only 2 unique numbers and their count is 2. Coming to the example 2, there are 10 elements in the array but there are only 5 unique elements 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So as the output we have to return 5 and array should have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the first 5 places. And also remember we should never change the elements order in the given input array. They should be always in the non-decreasing order. I hope now you understood the problem statement well. Now let's think about the solutions we can start with. So let's start with the naive solution for this. Uh, as a naive solution we can take one resultant array and we can put all the first unique elements in that array and we can return the length of that array as a result right. So here we are using an auxiliary space to store that resultant array and we need only one iteration to go through that entire array. So of course the time complexity will become O of n right and the space complexity will be O of n as we are taking one extra array to store unique elements. Let us take one simple array and we will try to apply this naive solution. We will make dry run and we will see result how it will work. Here is the input array I have taken. There are I think 10 elements in this array and there are also duplicates that is 0, 1, 2, 3 right. They were got duplicated but there are total 5 unique elements. Let's try to extract the result 5. Also I am taking the output or resultant array which is empty earlier. So we will start a iteration from the 0th index of the input array. Here the logic is simple as the first element is not present in the output array we will take that first element from the input array and we will put in the output array. So we have to put 0 as a first element in the output array. Then our pointer will move to the next index that is 1 and the element here is 0. 0 is already present in the output array so we will not again put that in the output array. Now we will move our pointer to the second index. So now at index 2, 1 is present and 1 is not present in our output array. So we have to put that element in the output array. So we'll move 1 to the output array. And now our resultant array will have two elements, 0 and 1. They are unique. I hope now you are getting the process how we are filling the resultant array with unique elements and they are in the order as input array. And this process will continue until we process all the elements from the input array. We have already processed the element 1, next we move to 2, we don't have 2, we will put that in the output array. So continuing the process till the end, we don't have the elements 3 and 4, so we will end up with putting them in the resultant array. So when we reach the end of the array, we have all the elements in our output array as unique and the size of this number of unique elements is 5, right? So through the iterations whenever we move the element from input array to the output array we can increment a counter we can maintain the counter and we can return that as a result right. So now let's first see the python code for this approach. So this is a straightforward logic in the naive approach. So I have just written the code we will go through line by line. So starting with I have written a method called remove duplicates which is taking two arguments self and the nubs. Self is a instance of the class in python and the nums is the input array provided. 
then i have written the if condition to validate the given input array if that is not a valid array then we will return a zero that is size zero then i have taken a temporary array which we will consider as output array where we will insert our unique elements in an order then of course i have started a for loop which will iterate through the given input array through the dry run of our example i have told you we can compare the elements in the input array against the new array also here in alternative way we can check just the current element and the previous element if they are not same we can take that element and we can put in that resultant array so that is what i have written here so at the end of all the iterations the temporary array will have all the unique elements which are in the same order as input array so to return the expected output we can just copy the elements from the temporary array and we can put it in the input array so when i try to execute this solution through python uh, in the lead code editor this is what the result i got the solution got accepted but it just beats 37 percent right even though this solution has one for loop that is no nested loops it is taking o of n time complexity but still it is taking o of n time space that's why i think it has very acceptance rate we can improve this and before jumping to the next solution uh, here is the code for the java folks the same code what we have written in the python the same logic you can take a note of it don't worry the github link is available for all the solutions here in the video description you can check it out so now let's move to the solution to how we can improve this o of n time space sorry uh, o of n space complexity right so whenever i try to execute the same solution through java it has better acceptance rate 67 percent but still i think we can improve this right uh, you can see it beats 77 percent of memory let's try to make it 80 or 90 percent okay so to optimize the existing solution in terms of space complexity uh, what we can do is uh, we can avoid taking a new array uh, that is resultant array instead we can what we can do is we can take two variables or two pointer variables you can say these are slow and fast pointers okay using fast pointer we will iterate through the entire array and then the slow pointer we will use to compare with the current element if that current element is not equal to the element that is pointed by the fast pointer then we will just increment our slow pointer and we'll copy the element from the fast pointer uh, so don't worry it might uh, the terms might make you confused so when we go through the dry run of this solution you will get it easily in our second approach also we are again making one iteration through the entire input array so the time complexity will be still remain o of n and coming to the space complexity we are just taking two pointer variables so the it will become o of 1 which is improvement from the previous solution right so let's go through the dry run by taking the same example so this is the given input array that is sorted array with duplicates so initially slow pointer i is pointing to 0th index and the fast pointer j pointing to the first index okay initially the 0th element and the first element are same so we will move the fast pointer first that is j so now j is pointing to second index so now 0th element and the second index element 0 and 1 are not same so now we will increment the slow pointer that is i now i will become 1 after incrementing the i the value at the jth index we have to swap to the ith index so now jth value that is second index value is 1 and we move that value to the first index right so 1 is copied to first index so once we move the value from j through ith index now we will increment the j so now j becomes 3 right so currently at the third index again 1 is present that is value is 1 and i to index value also 1 so both are same again we need to move the j j now is pointing to 4 again at the fourth index 1 is present so still again we will increase the j now j is pointing to fifth index now at the fifth index 2 is present whereas i is pointing to 1 so 2 is not equal to 1 so we need to increment the i and we will swap the value at the jth index so at this point if you observe 0 1 and 2 come towards left as a unique elements right that is there are no consecutive duplicate elements from the left as of now this is how this two pointer approach works so we'll continue with the process now the j will be incremented and it's pointed to 6 where the element is 2 we already encountered this now again it increases now j becomes 7 and value is 3 so we have to swap it 
again it increases 3 already we have encountered again j increases to 8 there is a value 4 4 we didn't have encountered right so now 4 will be swapped with the ith value now we have completed all the iterations and reached end of the input array and of course we got our desired result towards the left of the input array right all the unique elements were present this is how the two pointer approach works to remove the duplicates from the array now let's quickly go through the python code for the solution we'll start with the defining the class called solution and we'll define the method that is remove duplicates which will take self pointer and the input nums array so if the input array is not valid just return the count as zero that means no duplicates else we'll start with our process we will define a slow pointer which is initially pointed to zeroth index then j will start from one and we'll start with the for loop so if nums of j not equal to nums of i we will just increment the i right and then we will assign the value at j to the ith index that is what we are doing under the if condition so once we complete all the iterations we will just return the count i plus one uh, which indicates the number of duplicates we find out from the input array right and this is how the simple python code for this solution so whenever i have ran or executed this program in python lead code editor the solution is accepted and it beats almost 75 percent uh, which is better than our previous solution right our previous solution has just about 37 percent of acceptance now let's also quickly write the java code for the same solution for our java bees so here i'm just writing the method remove duplicates taking the input array validating the array first and then return our actual logic define the slow pointer indicates to zero then j will start from one inside the loop that is fast pointer right if the j element not equal to i element we will increment the i that is slow pointer then we'll assign the j value to the i pointer and finally as usual we are returning the i plus one which indicates the number of duplicates or number of shifts we have done right now let's check the result of this java solution it is going around 68 percent which is good so this is all about the solutions for this problem remove duplicates from sorted array i hope you are in a position to understand this problem and the solutions let's summarize it quickly uh, so for this problem we have went through two different solutions the first solution is using another array where we will store all the unique elements and the second solution is we use two pointers that is slow and fast to move unique elements towards left hand finding their length right and there is also one more approach you can try you can use data structures like hash set in java or python these data structures will store only the unique elements in this way you can find out how many duplicates elements are there right you can try it out and if you still have any queries please don't forget to comment in the comment section thank you for watching and see you in the next thank you